In the latter part of the 21st century, Earth is a polluted, diseased, and overpopulated landscape occupied by the poor. The rich now live in an orbiting space station called Elysium that guards its borders rigidly. Max da Costa is a young, orphaned boy living on Earth. He develops a friendship with Frey, a new girl at his orphanage, promising to take her to Elysium one day, the place where they will never get sick or old. In 2154, Max is now an adult living in Los Angeles. Two robot police officers assault him and break his arm after he gives a sarcastic response to their questions. Max seeks medical attention, and at the hospital, he discovers that his childhood friend, Frey, is his nurse. Max explains that he's a factory worker at the Armadine Corporation and is no longer a criminal. He asks Frey to dinner, and she eventually agrees to see him at a future date. At another location in Los Angeles, people are being loaded onto three space shuttles to be smuggled into Elysium, hoping to use the territory's med base for treatment. The shuttles are run by Spider, a hacker living in Los Angeles. Elysium Defense Secretary, Delacour, is alerted about the shuttles. After the standard warning fails, she tells her team to activate Kruger, a black ops agent who conducts secret missions on her behalf. Using a portable missile launcher, Kruger destroys two ships, but the third is able to land on Elysium. Dozens of people emerge from the craft. Quickly, the majority of the shuttle's occupants are apprehended, but a woman and her daughter are still at large. The woman smashes open a glass door and places her sick child onto a med bay. The machine scans her daughter, recognizes her as a citizen, and she's quickly healed. However, soon they are both taken into custody. The next day, Max is back at work when a door malfunctions at his workstation, drawing the ire of his supervisor. The supervisor suggests he squeezes through the opening to rectify the issue. Max is hesitant, but gives in when his job is threatened. While inside, the door closes unexpectedly, and Max is exposed to a lethal dose of radiation. Sometime later, a robot drags Max's limp body out of the chamber. At the sick bay, the robot explains to Max that he will die in five days. Max signs a release so he can be issued medication, which will keep him functioning normally until his death. At a hearing over the migrant incident, President Patel chastises Delacour, reminding her that she is mandated to deal with illegals quietly. He also criticizes her use of Agent Kruger, whose numerous human rights violations includes rape, kidnappings, and torture. Patel reminds Delacour that they no longer use sleeper agents. He leads a vote that discharges Agent Kruger from all responsibilities and warns that further unauthorized actions could result in Delacourt's removal from office. Max is returning home after his accident. His friend Julio spies him coming from afar and rushes towards him as he crumbles to the ground. At home, Max tells Julio about the events that transpired at work. He says he's going to see Spider, the hacker, about a ticket to Elysium. Frey is standing at the hospital bed of her daughter, Matilda, who has leukemia. She is listening to Dr. Faisal tell her about plans to discharge Matilda. Frey protests, but Dr. Faisal reminds her that the hospital doesn't have Elysium's power to heal. Julio accompanies Max to go see Spider, who greets him enthusiastically but sardonically. Max makes his request for a ticket to Elysium and an Elysium ID. His vow to return and work for Spider draws raucous laughter, and just as Spider tells him to leave, Max threatens him with a weapon. Spider and all the members of his gang draw their own weapons, but when he finds out Max is dying, he instructs everyone to stand down. Spider proposes a job to Max. The plan is to kidnap an Elysium billionaire on Earth. Spider shows Max a device that can steal information such as passwords, banking, codes, and login data right out of the billionaire's head, giving them access to billions of dollars. Spider says the device would be plugged into Max's brain, and the information from the billionaire's brain would be downloaded into his. This will earn Max a one-way ride to Elysium. Max insists the target has to be none other than the Armadine CEO, John Carlyle. Later, Carlyle is at a meeting with Defense Secretary Delacourt hoping she will renew Armadine's contracts. However, Delacour is more interested in a different venture, one that will override Elysium's servers and allow her to install a new president. Though visibly shaken, Carlisle confirms he can write the necessary reboot sequence. In response, Delacour attempts Carlisle with a 200-year contract. Back at Spider's lair, Sandro, a member of the team, tattoos Max with an ID that merges with his DNA to make Max look like an Elysium citizen. Next, Spider installs an exosuit on him that will give Max as much strength as a droid. On the day of the heist, Carlisle uploads Elysium's reboot code to his own brain and leaves the building flanked by robot guards. Max, Julio, Sandro, and Manuel pile into the cars and head off for their mission. When Carlisle's shuttle takes off, they shoot an explosive shell into its hull. It detonates and Carlisle's transport begins falling out of the sky with the team giving chase. When Delacourt learns of the attack, she contacts newly deactivated agent Kruger for help. However, Kruger realizes that Delacourt is hiding some kind of illegal activity and agrees only after he is reinstated. Kruger is met by a shuttle containing two other members of his team. Carlisle notices the arrival of Max's team and directs the droids to eliminate them. Max defeats the first droid, and as they're attempting to extract Carlisle from the shuttle, the second one emerges. Max defeats it by pulling its head off. They attempt to make the data transfer from Carlisle, who has been severely wounded in the crossfire. However, the military shuttle carrying Kruger and his team is quickly approaching. 
Sandro notices the data they've lifted from Carlisle is scrambled, and Max tries to get Sandro to explain. However, Sandro is terrified and draws a weapon on Max to make his escape. The team tries to run away, but Sandro is killed in the process. Kruger bombs Max and Julio's car, but Max emerges from the wreckage. When Kruger's shuttle lands, he engages Max in hand-to-hand -hand combat and stabs Max in the abdomen. Julio appears with a handgun and shoots at Kruger. However, Julio's shots are ineffective, and Kruger impales him and he dies. Following this, Kruger falls when Max shoots at him. Max escapes and Kruger gets to his feet and boards the shuttle. Max waits outside the hospital for Frey. When she emerges, he warns her that alerting the medics will endanger his life. Instead, she takes him to her home and treats him. When Max awakes the next morning, Frey introduces him to Matilda and asks him to help her get to Elysium. Max, however, is adamant that he can't. As Max steps outside for his home, he is detected by a drone deployed by Kruger. Max knocks a drone out of the sky and escapes. Minutes later, Kruger and his team break into Frey's home. Frey denies knowing where Max is. This angers Kruger, and he strikes her across the face. After a while, he brings her and Matilda aboard the shuttle. Max goes to see Spider and insists that they head to Elysium immediately, but Spider explains that Delacorte has implemented a no-fly zone. He instead wants to access the information stored in Max's brain, and after some convincing, Max gives in. Spider is shocked to discover that it's a reboot program for Elysium, giving the holder the ability to open its borders and make everyone a citizen. Max intends to give himself up so he can seek treatment immediately. Spider tries to dissuade him, albeit unsuccessfully. However, Max tells him that he can have whatever is in his brain if he gets to Elysium. Kruger and his team see Max on their screen. He had walked back to the drowned drone to alert them of his location. Max is clutching a grenade with the pin pulled out when the shuttle lands and Kruger emerges. Max tells him that they can have whatever is in his head once he's allowed to use a med bay in Elysium. As Max steps aboard the shuttle, he notices Frey and Matilda and his dumbstruck. He apologizes to Frey and tells her he is going to make it right. Before landing, Kruger and his men attack Max, who is still clutching the live grenade. They fight, causing the shuttle to lose control. Max loses his grip on the grenade, which bounces around the fuselage before exploding. The explosion blows Kruger's face off and the shuttle crash lands on Elysium. Back at the crash shuttle, Max helps Frey escape the restraints and she takes Matilda off the shuttle. One of Kruger's men goes in pursuit of Frey while the other fights Max. Eventually, Max is tased and subdued. Frey breaks open a door to a residence and places Matilda on a med bay. However, the device does not detect Matilda as a citizen and returns it as an error message. One of Kruger's men locates Frey and Matilda and captures them. Max is now restrained in a gurney while Delacorte is talking to the scientist near him. Frey is nearby, sitting on the floor holding Matilda. One of Kruger's men takes Frey and Matilda to the armory. Just as the scientists are about to begin downloading the data, Max breaks free from his restraints. He overcomes the scientists and makes them reveal that Frey is being held in the armory. Kruger, his face now reconstructed in a med bay, is berated by Delacorte for crashing on Elysium. Kruger punches a mirror and retrieves a large shard of glass from the sink, which he uses it to stab Delacorte in the neck. He throws her into the enclosure with Frey and Matilda. Frey attempts to treat Delacorte, but she dies. Spider arrives on Elysium after Delacorte cancels the no-fly zone. Max contacts him using a radio he's taken from a scientist. Spider says he can retrieve the program from Max's brain. Max heads to the armory and takes the remainder of his medication. Max kills both of Kruger's men as he rescues Frey and Matilda from the armory. They make their way out to the sound of Kruger, now fitted with his own exosuit, yelling threats in the hallway. Max tells Frey to go to the surface without him, promising that the med bay will work this time. Spider and his men get to the armory just as Frey leaves. Along the way, Spider and Max encounter Kruger, who engages them with gunfire. He chases them to the administration room where Spider is able to access Elysium's system. Max and Kruger continue to fight. Eventually, Max charges Kruger, flipping over him and pulling the implant out of the back of his head in the process. This renders his exosuit useless. Kruger attempts to attach a grenade to Max's exosuit, but Max is able to throw him over the railing where the grenade detonates, killing Kruger. Spider gains access to the administration room and locks the door behind them. Max attaches the cables to his head, but Spider warns him that downloading the data will kill him, to which Max responds that he is aware. Max tells Frey over the radio what he is about to do and tells her goodbye. He presses the button to begin the transfer and dies. The room is stormed by Elysium security just as the program has been installed and Elysium reboots. The med bay recognizes Matilda as a citizen and she is healed. The robot police refuse to arrest Spider on Patel's orders, recognizing him as a citizen. Additionally, the computer orders shuttles dispatched to Elysium to give medical aid to its new citizens. Shuttles land on Earth with several available med bays. 